Hello, great, grand, glorious Leo. I have your September forecast right here, but first I've got an announcement. So many of you have asked me when I was going to be teaching astrology. Well, I'm starting in September. Would you like to study astrology with me? Would you like to know how to read a horoscope, forecast a horoscope? Would you like to perhaps become an astrologer? and do it professionally. If so, go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com. All the information is right there on the first page. I'm going to be teaching three levels. The first one is for the person who knows nothing about astrology. It's the foundation. And I'll show you how to uh, understand uh, and have a working knowledge of each of the 12 signs, the planets that rule them, I'll show you how to write the glyph, the symbol for them, and uh, an understanding of all 12 houses. That's the foundation. If you already know how to do that, hang on, because I'll be offering the chart interpretation webinars after that. But September 18th is the first one. So go to my website now. Well, maybe after you watch the video, MaxineTaylor.com. Okay, let's talk about your beautiful September forecast. <clears throat> well, you can see that there's a lot of planetary action around these two areas, these two houses. The first one is money. The second one is your idea. It deals with your ideas and communication. Maybe you, you get ideas about money and then you're able to communicate them. You're able to think about them and expand them. Let me go into detail. Venus the planet of money and love and beauty is sitting in your second house. It's the lesser benefic. Wherever it is, it blesses you and brings benefits. And so this is going to help your finances, isn't it? Mercury, the blue planet, what we think about and talk about, thinking about money, talking about money, communicating ideas about money, okay? Whatever you think about, whatever you put your attention on, grows more money. Now, Mars, this is very interesting. Mars is the red planet. And wherever Mars is in your chart is what you throw yourself into. It is the, um, it's what comes first to you. It's what you'll fight with or fight for. With <clears throat> Mars in that house, you are determined to create money and uh, possessions as well. It's not just money, it's what money can buy. And it can also be, believe it or not, um, tangible things as well as people. If you're wanting a relationship, that can bring it to you. That's very interesting. Now, the yellow planet is the sun, the center of our life. Well, there it is bringing life to your money. Um, you should have been doing nicely last month, this past month, and you'll continue to do so uh, until these, not that you're going to plummet, uh, but you'll focus more on communication and travel uh, when Venus goes into your third house and you see beautiful ideas, you think loving thoughts, that's on the 13th. Mercury moves in on the 14th, and so lots of talking, lots of communicating. Mars stays in that second house. Mars says, I'm still creating money. Don't you love it? And the sun moves into your third house. And so your ideas are the center of your life, uh, starting the 23rd. Now, the full moon on the 21st, excuse me, the full moon on the 13th and 14th, it's between those two dates, is in your eighth house of other people's money of transformation, of uh, other people's values. But on a mundane level, yeah, other people's money. And that brings any joint financial uh, projects you're involved in to a head. This is really great. And then you'll feel that for two weeks until we have the new moon. And the new moon is on the 28th. It sits on your sun. And on the new moon, energy starts flowing. This is when your ideas 
are so good and you're able to express them. Now, we all are going through either a T cross or a grand square. Now, I'm throwing terminology around here. So let me explain what I'm talking about. Everybody this month is going to be experiencing either a T cross, and that's what this is here. It's um, planets in opposition squared by a third, a third planet. And the energy, think of this as a table with three legs. There's an empty leg. And so the energy flows into that 11th house of friends and group activities and social activities. It's really lovely. So on the full moon, <clears throat> full moon sits on Neptune. Neptune is our dream. And the full moon in Pisces can help you create the dream come true. Jupiter in the fifth house creates tons of fun. And as I mentioned, that second house, money, money, money. If you have planets in Gemini, here's how you can tell. All of these areas will be equally balanced and you will be involved with other people's money, your money, fun and humanitarian projects, friends. If you don't have Gemini planets, the emphasis is going to be on more humanitarian projects, putting your own hopes and wishes into action and being a friend to all. So that's the way it looks, <clears throat> excuse me, for September. I hope to see you on my webinars. Remember, MaxineTaylor.com, all the information is there. And so till next time, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours.